Okay, so we do have some breaking news today that just went live maybe 30 minutes ago or so. And it has to do with Sony. So I wanted to get this in at the end of the week here since it's kind of been the week of, of Sony with their showcase and then uh, the situation around the, the lack of showings, people trying to understand what's going on within Sony. And now we're getting a bit of a look within Naughty Dog and what we assume to be this Factions 2 or this Factions live service game because... It appears things are not going well, and we're going to discuss that here today. So if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you like it and subscribe if you're new here to the Spawn Wave channel. Let's uh, let's first take a look as they did release this tweet, and it was mostly going over the fact that they were not present during this showcase, and they, they heard a lot of the fans who were asking where Factions is, as we did hear last year, if you remember at a summer game fest actually with Neil Druckmann who showed off concept art and then said that they would be looking to have more info for fans next year that being 2023 so it's it's pretty clear that people were expecting them to be at the showcase in some way even just a look at CG at this point here's a CGI trailer at least giving us an idea of the direction of this factions live service mode but nothing however in that card that they released on Twitter, which is being, becoming more and more commonplace, although this isn't necessarily an apology for a game that's released in a terrible state. It's just them saying, hey, we need more time with this game, okay? We're still working on it. It's it's just going to be still a little while longer. They did also mention, though, that they are working on a new single-player experience. So, I mean, that's great. It could be something with, it could be Last of Us Part 3. It could be a new intellectual property, who knows, but at least they are letting people know that they are indeed working on something else alongside of this, which did make me a little concerned since live service games tend to take a lot of time and developers to get it done with a set amount of content to also keep people engaged going forward. However, we did have Jason Schreier who posted his report Today, of course, uh, right at the end of the week, going into Memorial Day weekend and and all of this. And this is over on Bloomberg. I'll have a link to it down below in the description if you'd also like to read some of it there. Um, but he says, Sony Group has slowed down development on an upcoming multiplayer game in its long-running Last of Us video game series as the creators reassess its quality and long-term viability, according to four people familiar with the project. And Jason has had pretty good contacts within Naughty Dog and Sony. I remember he, he was the one who mentioned that there was a Last of Us remake in development, and we thought it was the weirdest sounding thing, but hey, Last of Us Part 1 came out the end of last year, so there you go. He says, the team working on the game was scaled back after a recent evaluation, said the people who asked not to be named because they weren't authorized to speak publicly. All right, so they have a small group still remaining on the project while the company is reevaluating the direction the game's not been canceled so at least it's still in development with it a smaller team of developers i guess however many of them have been moved to other projects the interesting thing about all this i'm going through this uh the, the article here in his report i got to the bottom of the article and uh it's kind of interesting how sony came to the conclusion that they should move off of this, or at least start moving some of the developers away from their Factions live service game and onto what I assume to be the single player game that they released in that statement, which kind of makes sense why that statement went out because it seriously, like maybe 20 minutes before this report dropped is when they, uh, then they released this, this, uh, this whole thing. So if we look at, at the, the last paragraph here, Sony has invested heavily in games as a service or video games designed to be monetized beyond their initial sales through ongoing purchases. As part of that push, it asked another of its video game studios, Seattle-based Bungie, to evaluate the games across its portfolio. Now, we have seen a lot of movement behind the scenes with Sony, and some of this we've had to draw our own conclusions from, like the, the number of layoffs that hit deviation, basically tells us that whatever live service project they had in development, which based on the talent at Deviation, we assume was a first person shooter of some kind, didn't make the cut with Sony making the rounds. And I have to assume maybe Bungie was one of the one of the entities that said, you know what, this isn't necessarily a good idea to go forward with. And Sony, I guess, just cut it right there. Pixel Opus was another one, although 
I don't know if they were working on a live service game. That might have been more on on uh, on Sony's side to just be like, yeah, this is not necessarily something we want to keep investing in. However, this is Naughty Dog, so that means that Bungie would have come in, looked at what they were doing, Naughty Dog, one of Sony's top studios next to Santa Monica, and they were like, nah, this doesn't seem like something you should be investing in because said Bungie raised questions about the Last of Us Multiplayer's project's ability to keep players engaged for a long period of time, which led to the reassessment. That's like the number one thing for a live service title is engagement, right? It's keeping people playing the game consistently and at monthly active users is like the big metric now that these studios and these publishers keep talking about. And we're to the point where Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo all report monthly active users and really put it as like a big centerpiece since they all have subscription services that rely on you playing their online games or third-party online games on the platform. And in this instance, I, I guess they looked at The Last of Us multiplayer and how they were going to set that up for long-term success, and it just wasn't there. And it's interesting because you have... <laughs> a developer who's not necessarily well-versed in making a live service game, attempting to make their first live service game, really. And the idea of Bungie, clearly with them, I think even overpaying for Bungie with whatever, $3 billion, was for this process. Can you evaluate what we are working on with these live service games? Remember, they mentioned 10 of them and let us know which ones we should really be pushing here. Which is sort of funny to think about this since Bungie had worked with Microsoft early on for these Halo games and all of this, then they go off on their own. Now they're at Sony and they're effectively, I don't want to say canceling games because this didn't get canceled, I guess deviation if that was Bungie's call technically, but having Sony scale back on projects from renowned studios like Naughty Dog, it's, it's Bungie who's there kind of pushing Sony in that direction. Interesting to to think about that. If you told me back in 2008 or 2009 that Bungie is one day going to be at Sony working to call the shots on some of their big releases, I would have never believed you. But the thing that's kind of frustrating about this, especially for people who were fans of Last of Us Factions back on the well, Last of Us Remastered, I guess, on the PS4 it was the big one that people were playing. And I think that's still pretty active now, or mostly active for the age of, of Factions, is Last of Us Part Two didn't have any kind of multiplayer game attached to it. And sort of the, the promise that they were working towards was there will be a bigger multiplayer game that's worth the wait but then you get news that Sony seems even unsure if it's worth going down this live service road with. And it makes you realize they probably should have just done a better version of Factions and attached it to The Last of Us Part 2. Or at the very least, Last of Us Part 1, which would have helped to obviously sell it more. And it probably wouldn't have been as controversial uh, as a release if they had multiplayer there alongside of that single player setup. But instead... We're kind of in this position where Sony kind of scaling back and maybe they scale back to it just being a Last of Us Factions, like how we've known it before, but maybe built up more of a, a sequel to that. And would they release it as a standalone game or would they maybe attach it to Last of Us Part 3 and we see it towards the end of the PlayStation 5's life? I, hard to say, but at least according to Jason Schreier and Bloomberg, it's not canceled yet. So we'll see what Sony decides to do with it, but something tells me it's going to be uh, probably still a couple of years before we get any indication, gameplay, even plans for what they're going to do with it. But let me know what you guys think about this one down below. Certainly hasn't been a great week for Sony after their showcase didn't really hit that well online, and now hearing about struggles apparently at Naughty Dog for this Last of Us Factions live service game. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time.